For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. Welcome to the Daily Gnosis, where we partake in our daily required value of Jesus. I'm all the Elder, hashtag Old Not Sage, and we at Dizzy Angel Multimedia are happy to see you here. And we're blessed to be able to post these devotions Sundays through Thursdays by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Isaiah, the ninth chapter, verses 6 through 7, presents a vision of a future ruler whose governance will fundamentally transform societal structures. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. These verses not only prophesy the birth of Jesus, but also depict the nature of his rule. The titles ascribed to Jesus in these verses, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, highlight the multifaceted aspects of his governance. Unlike earthly rulers, whose power often corrupts, Jesus is portrayed as a leader whose wisdom, might, paternity, and peacefulness redefine what it means to govern. His reign brings political and social change and spiritual enlightenment that alters how subjects relate to each other and God. The government on Jesus' shoulders is radically different from traditional power structures. It is not maintained by coercion or human wisdom, but based on divine justice and peace. This government does not oppress. It liberates. It does not cause confusion. It enlightens. Under his rule, enlightenment isn't just an individual spiritual experience, but a corporate reality that affects all aspects of life, promoting a society where peace and justice are not ideas, but realities. Yeah. And I just wanted to pop in and give you a reminder that we also have, uh, twice a week, we post videos, how not to make comics with all and we are currently working on the graphic novel Yahweh and the God Squad. That is going to be taking us a while. There's a lot of Gnostic goodness in there. And it's an exciting adventure. We'll, uh, join us for that and watch us as we make art and get ready to uh, make some changes in some people's lives in a positive way. Out. So we'll see you there. That's twice a week. And it's uh, how not to make comics with all of and it's on this channel. Love y'all. Prince of Peace is a title that encapsulates the essence of Jesus' governance. His peace surpasses mere political ceasefire or interpersonal harmony. It involves a comprehensive peace that heals, restores, and enlightens. This peace challenges the world's discord and strife offering a model of governance that prioritizes the well-being and spiritual growth of its people. To live under the government of Christ means to actively participate in a community that mirrors his te teachings of justice, peace, and enlightenment. It calls for engagement in acts of justice, peacemaking, and communal enlightenment, where his spiritual and moral values dictate our actions and interactions. As followers of Christ, we are ambassadors to this heavenly government, tasked with reflecting its principles in a world still grappling with darkness. In Isaiah 9, 6 through 7, we're invited to envision a world governed not by flawed principles of human rulers, but by Christ's enlightened and peace-filled reign. As we reflect on these verses, let us be inspired to contribute to this divine governance in our communities, advocating for justice and peace that reflect the kingdom of God. In doing so, we anticipate the full realization of his rule and actively participate in its unfolding. Brothers and sisters, as we go about our day, let us be of service to others and help God to ease their journey. Always remember that God, Jesus, Allah, and Muhammad, the Aeons, Archons, and Angels, all love you. And as your friend, I'm here to remind you that I love you. Eat when you're hungry, sleep when you're tired, talk to God daily, and love continuously. Until we meet again, may your hearts be filled with joy, your spirits uplifted, and your souls nourished by the eternal wisdom of the divine. As the living embodiment of the Logos, Jesus' role extends beyond the redemption of sin. 
He is the illuminator whose teachings and very being cast light upon the shadows of our understanding and misconceptions. Through his words and actions, Jesus clarifies the nature of God, his justice, mercy, and love, and our identities as children of this loving creator. This revelation brings clarity and purpose where there was once confusion and aimlessness.